Got the number written on the wall. First it's busy, then I try again. Who could she be talking to? Who could it be him? I hear the phone, I hear it start to ring. I start to panic and I get up. She says, I'm not at home. We have the El Pelagre water here today. So I was pulling, all right. Forget, it's where Josh lives. And I used to know every street up there. I don't even know anymore. Um, I used to know every street, every, like by name. But when you don't do it for so long, like, you know, it just fades away. Fades away. You know, if it's not in your mind, like, you know, if it's not there, like if you're not driving by it all the time, especially in the daylight, in the daylight. I mean, can we do this the nighttime? The nighttime Jerry Westheimer Bramer. I, I mean, I know it starts with L. It's not locust. What the hell does he freaking live on? I don't, you know, it's irrelevant to me. It was like years ago, I used to, you know, no, I used to know, no, no. I can I have my Pelagree water? I mean, if, if you had time, think about it. I wonder what, 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 what street it was. Yeah, it's not Locust. It's not Linden. Something makes me think it starts with L, but, but you know, that's, that could be, that could be. Well, we have frost we have frost here the frost is on my pumpkin but what I wanted to tell you was I was I was wherever street it was let's just say it's a uh, Limburger cheese so I'm driving down Limburger cheese well all the roads I mean I know I said all the roads they're, they're terrible and what I said about the roads yesterday it's like grease you know you have a little grease and get things done you have a little grease you have a you know they don't, in these kind of times, they don't normally do things, you know. I mean, they have priorities. And that's what, that, that is what is going on right now. Because, um, because what this guy is doing. I mean, they turn around, they're trying to get his taxes. They're going to get something. He, he, he screwed somebody over. But, it's not his responsibility. That's why you have people to do it for you. You know. There's nothing on him whatsoever. If somebody does it, you know, they do it. You know, they're doing your taxes. They're your lawyer. They're your audit. They're your accountant. They're whatever. You know, they got to follow the law. And if there's loopholes in it, which there normally is, we're going to spend the whole year or two years talking about that. I mean, you should know that. People who study business know that. There's ways. If it's within there, you don't think someone like that's just going to, like, jeopardize jail or anything like that? Doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't seem like that type of a guy to me. But anyway, whatever street it was, we'll say a uh, quarter pounder with cheese and a little bit of greasy fries. So I'm riding down that road. Just came from the store, and uh, you know, I was thinking about yesterday's show. Thinking about you know a lot of things. Thinking about you know getting it right, and um, so you know got the blinker on, and I'm turning. I see a vehicle. I, you know, I know it, it's not it's not a, no, it's not a police car or anything. You know, they have these kind of Jeep police cars or something. I don't know. I I gotta walk up and look, find out the name brand of these, because they're off. They're often all over the place here, and I think they know me now, because I look. You know, I just see a regular car there, and I you know I see nothing other than that car. I see nothing, nothing behind me, nothing behind me at all. So I take the turn. You know, I say, ah, we'll we'll go down. We'll go to Spring Little League, I guess. I was trying to figure out where to do where to do the morning show. So, you know, I'm driving. I, I still see no one behind me because I'm, I'm, I'm conscientious. I am very much so, very much conscientious of where to do the show and everything like that. And plus, now I'm conscientious. I also had a, a stick here in the car. I got a stick. I realized that. 
And let's just say I got pulled over. You know, they got the lights on and everything. It's like, what is in there? You know, I mean, of course, they're going to say, you know, don't reach for it, don't reach for it. But it's just a stick. You know, I better take it out. But, you know, stuff like that can happen. I mean, you got to put yourself in their shoes. I mean, the environment that we're in. It was never like that years ago, like, you know. You kind of knew everybody and stuff like that. But, you know, these officers, they're going up. You know, this is like, uh, you don't know. There, there's so many things. So many things to consider. So, anyways. Um, I'm saying to myself, well, I'll, I'll pull over, I'll do it here. Do the show here, make amends, you know, fix everything that, that, that's going on. Even though you can't. But we still try. It's not in our hands anymore. It's not, you know. And anyone can tell you that. Like, of course, there's a lot of people that have it in their heart. They want, you know. They go on long journeys, we'll call them. They go, you know, or like these things, like uh, campaigns, like against things. And some, some get like, you know, achievements or like, you know, things, I don't know, little things, like things, like, you know, like, like uh, okay, we, we, we went over this hurdle, uh, what other hurdle do we have, uh, you know, we, we, we got somewhere, we, we did something, success, and, you know, I mean, but, but what is it, it's a stro stroke of ego, even with me, I started off this campaign, like, you know, for the little people, pointing out all these things, so, I wanted to pull, pull in Spring Air, I was going to, but then, I was just about to, but it was a handicap thing there. And it's pitch dark. It's whatever time it is, 4 o'clock in the morning. It's pitch dark. Uh, I don't see anyone behind me. And all of a sudden, boom. I don't know where. But I, but I, I hesitate. I, I, I thought about it. It was a quick thing. It was like a juke. You know, or, or, or like a quick like reflex kind of action. It was like, you know, or like intuition. Something said, no, no, no. You know, because maybe, because you have a stick in the car and all that kind of stuff, and, uh, and it's spring lily. I remember one time when I was, when I was delivering, where well, I was off. It was my day off. I was up behind there, Moxie's, or somewhere in that facility. They, you know, they were building all new, new housing and everything like that. But it had to be a little league thing there. It was small, but there was this little stop sign. And I didn't fully stop. And this trooper, like, I was, I was like, uh, actually, I lied. It was, I was 16 years old. Yes, I was in my dad's Chevy. I was about 16 or 17. And I didn't, like, fully stop. And, uh, and he, like, detained me there, like, for an hour. It was something. Like, it was just, like, this, this thing. Like, you know, he, he made me, he put fear. Like, he put fear into me. Like, you know, whatever he did. You know, because, uh, oh, I, I think, well, I took my mom's, like, keys out, keys. I actually, you know, I lived in the house with them, but I was out for a joyride. And I remember her, her keychain, it had flip-flops. The flip-flop keychain, flip-flops. And, um, he's like, you didn't stop. And I was like, oh, I was all scared because, like, you know, prior to that, Prior to that, me getting stopped at, at, up there, when we were, when I was, I, I, well, Frank was 15, one of my best friends, and we did the same thing with his sister's car. His sister was, like, working over in Manans, and, um, his, you know, he, you know, he knew that she, you know, you know, worked a certain, you know, how many hours she was working, she, you know, she knew she, well, we knew how much time we would have to joyride, stuff like that. So, uh. So we did, and you know, we took the car. You know, she's working. You know, we're driving down the road, and then the cops. You know, the cops. You know, got the sirens on, everything like that. And of course, uh, you know, the car was reported stolen, everything. You know, because she might have came out to get something or whatever. You know, so I mean, the 
the scheme or the or the plan that you know me and Frank had or we had. You know, he's I basically just went it went along. I'm like, all right, yes. Because we would always want to have cars. Or the minute we turn 16, we always want to... My first car was a Mustang. And I didn't really get it on the road because... The guy who sold it to me gave me a freaking lemon. I needed so much work. But I did, I did get a car after that. Then I started getting bugs and stuff like that. And different kind of vehicles. But anyways, why am I telling you all this? So, uh... So I just remember... It was like... That happened like two two months ago and stuff like that. There, it, it wasn't on no record or anything like that, you know. His sister dropped the charges, you know. She said, no, you know, it's my brother. But then they put a scare in you. You know, they probably say, I scare these people. I mean, here it is. They put me, like, like in, you know, detain. In the thing, like, in, in, the, in the thing, like, you know. And I'm just like, you know, it's, it's a sister's car. Like, you know, he's telling me, uh, you know, we can go for a jar ride and stuff like that. So, um. But no, I have, a, I have a clean record. I have nothing other than maybe speeding tickets or something like that years ago. Nothing that I know of whatsoever. Clean. So, so I hesitated. And yes, it's that, that heart-raising thing. Like, you know, even though you're, 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 and it's a day and age too. It's like, like, what do I say? Like, what do I say? I'm doing this this stupid thing here, wasting my time on top of that, going over all these things. Where's the timer here? Okay, we're okay. Going over this stuff when you have the whole media here coming up with this new kind of you know campaign and uh, you know march about you know why why they're the better choice and why. This guy's lying, and you know, a lot of his followers are you know, heartless, and they're this and they're that. It gets old, it gets tiresome. I mean, because people don't like Beyonce. Beyonce, she walked out of a meeting with Reeboks. It's like it's not, too, it's not, it's not enough diversity in here. It's not enough. And she has that right. She has that right. It's money. It's her money. She can do whatever she wants. She don't have to work there. She don't have to take the deal. It's not the point. But the thing is, it's this new, new, this new thing. Like you know, we have to have certain people here, certain people there, and what? And then like like Lem's coming out with like a like, uh, president should apologize for slavery. Okay, do it. Do it. Is that gonna be enough though? I mean, where is this coming out of, anyway? Where is this coming out of? Is it the new strategy now? That's that's what we're going to do? Where we just... We're not believing in the things, you know, that... That close to our heart. It's like when you get, you know... When you're driving down the road here, like 4 o'clock in the morning. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere... You know, you see authority. And you're, you're trying to, like figure out what you're going to say, you know, and you know, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's too, it's too personal, why, why, why do you, why do you have to know what I'm doing, you know, why do you have to know, I just, I pulled in, there was, there was, there was kids getting out of the car, screaming like, like they're all drunk and bombed, they'll, they'll, they'll fly, they'll be known 100 miles an hour by the cops, but here I am, here I am, the one that you are. Asking for another chance. Alright.